Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Tuesday, September 14th, 2021. Uh, right now it is 85 degrees Fahrenheit here in Jacksonville, Florida. Humidity is 75%. Air is about breathability of seven and a half I guess something like that can't be out there long overcast storm storm clouds rain on the way 30 degrees Celsius not a bad day the temperatures are heading in the right direction A lot of stuff going on right, right now, occupying my, my mind, well, driving-wise. All kinds of traffic was coming here. So, uh, trying to gather my thoughts up. What to, what to discuss today. I really don't know. I talked to my brother the second night out in the car and he's doing rather rather well all things considered um, trying to drill into him not to stay at the same spot which he did yesterday last night he stayed at the same location he said but I changed the size of the parking lot well yeah but that doesn't really that doesn't really help. You're still in the same store. It's actually a vacant building, but it's still the same place. Whether you're in you know, the right side of the parking lot or the left side of the parking lot. So, change your location up. And not just go across the street, which is what he was talking about. Well, I can go over to this other store across the street. Like, no. You need to go like get get out of that area altogether and go to a different location. So instead of going to uh, well, you know, we have we have a lot of numerous uh, we have a lot of stores that have numerous locations. <coughs> so instead of staying at Home Depot 1 two or three nights in a row, you go from Home Depot 1 to Home Depot 3 to Home Depot 5, you know? Or like Walmart. Uh, from my house, I could be. Let's see, one, two, three, four. I could be at four different WalMarts within less than 20 minutes. They're generally about 15 minutes apart. So, and there's over 14 of them in Jacksonville. That's a that's a nice rotation, you know. If all you did was spend the night at Walmart's, you wouldn't spend the night in two different Walmart's for 14 days. And it's not a whole lot of traveling. And you don't want to stay the whole time <coughs> excuse me. In the Walmart parking lot. Well there's little little parks and other things other areas in between each of them that you can stop and spend time in. Now I'll try to explain some of that to you. 
I'm sure he'll get the hang of it. He just has to be out there for a while. He's done similar in the past, but not staying in one location, which is something I'm not 100% sure why he's doing it. I mean, okay, he's close to me and my kids and the grandkids, but there's nothing holding him, like, just here. He can, he can fill up his gas tank and be in New Orleans by tomorrow or, you know, wh whatever. You get out and explore the country a little bit. Here comes the rain. Here comes the rain. And traffic is bouncing up. And there's still a few things we need to get him set up, set up for. <clears throat> I was talking to him about his phone. He went the cheap way and got the the minimal plan. And I told him, you know, go with your go get the first unlimited data plan you can get. It's gonna cost you fifty or sixty dollars, but in the long run it's gonna be worth it. Because the internet is pretty much lifeblood for somebody living on the road. It has made living on the road so much easier than it was 10 or 15 years ago. Because all you have to do is, is ask whichever internet personality you have, you know, where the nearest um, Walmart is, or where the nearest gas station is, or just ask for free camping, and it'll, it'll give you a whole list of options. If you don't have that internet, you don't have those options. And that's what I keep trying to explain to him. The sites that I've given him to go to, you have to have internet. And I tried to explain how to go to places like the McDonald's or Starbucks or, or even Home Depot. You go in and check your internet settings and you know, refresh them or whatever. And most of those places have Wi-Fi. may not be the greatest connection, but you'll be able to access the internet, like I said, for directions or maybe sit and spend a couple hours watching YouTube videos or whatever. <clears throat> then we need to get him set up with a with a battery system of some kind. Whether it's just the small uh, power banks, which will keep his phone charged overnight, run a USB fan overnight. That's the cheap way to go. And, you know, of course, as soon as I mention that, that's the way he wants to go. Uh, it would be better to go with a full battery system, whether it's solar power or not. I'm not a major proponent of solar power. A lot of people think it's the, the be-all of you know, van life. Oh, I got to have solar. If you have solar, that means you have to park in the sun. You know, down here in Florida, I don't like parking in the sun. Or what about overcast days? Or, you know, the weather, the winter setting in, if you're in some of the mid, mid or northern states, 
You don't get the sun the same way to keep your batteries charged up. What if it snows? You know, there's, there's all kinds of reasons that solar is, in my mind, solar is a backup. It's actually a secondary backup for me. I prefer to charge off the vehicle's alternator system or plug into shore power. Then there would be solar power and a portable generator. Solar power and a portable generator are kind of neck and neck in my book. I do prefer a power generator. Because again, that can run at night, it can run during a rainstorm, it'll run, you know, if it's snowing. So, he doesn't need to get that deep into any of it with his little car. All I can do is make suggestions. And uh, worry a little bit. That's just me. He's always been always been the younger brother. He's always had medical issues and stuff like that so he's always been the one to be concerned about but like all the rest of us he's also stubborn he gets an idea in his head and you can't really budge him from it so as help as I can and hope everything works out which I'm sure is going to one way or another anyway we're at the end of my ride so once again I appreciate all of you that have stopped in and listened to me ramble and rant let me know what you think give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up Leave me a comment wherever it is y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around your social media, that'd be fantastic. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. So I see y'all again. I hope you have a fantastic day. It's launching, y'all. Ah.